Genesis chapter 5, verse 1. This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created man, in the likeness of God made he him. This is the book, the Holy Bible, that covers the physical genealogy of Adam and Eve all the way down to Jesus Christ. Human beings are created using a very similar pattern that was used to create supernatural beings. Head, face, torso, arms, legs, hands, feet, etc. 2. Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. God created a biological difference between males and females. The Antichrist spirit in the world today goes against God's natural order of male and female. Natural male and female of all races of people are blessed by God. It is against the natural order of God's creation for a male to become a female and for a female to become a male. 3. And Adam lived in 130 years and begot a son in his own likeness after his image and called his name Seth. Adam fathered a son in his own likeness, which means human beings were not born in the spiritual likeness of God anymore. We are born in the sinful likeness of fallen man. Seth would pass on the bloodline of Jesus Christ. 4. And the days of Adam after he had begotten Seth were 800 years, and he begot sons and daughters. The human body was completely natural and healthy, giving early human beings the framework to live hundreds of years. Today we are surrounded by disease and bacteria. It's in everything we use and eat and drink on a daily basis. Adam and Eve had many children over their long lifespan. Only three are named because only three are important to this story which is his story, which is the story we read in God's Word, the story of our Creator, his battle with rebellious children, his plan for salvation, and his victory in the end. 5. And all the days that Adam lived were 930 years, and he died. There are skulls around the world that have been dug up and tested. These skulls are shown to be capable of living hundreds of years. Verse 6 And Seth lived in 105 years and begot Enos. These are skulls of a very sophisticated people who lived to eight, nine hundred years old. The skulls found and dated around the world truly show that neither religion nor science have the answers to the mysteries that surround supernatural beings that can live for hundreds of thousands of years, and then mating with human women and creating human hybrids that can live for thousands of years. Then we have the early natural human body like Adam and Seth, which had the ability to live only hundreds of years. Lots of skulls, some way older than others, causing confusion all over the world because the world doesn't believe God's word. 7. And Seth lived after he begot Enos 807 years and begot sons and daughters. God's word does not name all of Seth's children because only one of them would carry the bloodline to Jesus Christ, Enos. 8. And all the days of Seth were 912 years, and he died. Death of the flesh being a curse and a requirement by the Lord, something we all have to deal with until Christ returns. 9. And Enos lived 90 years and begot Canaan. Canaan.
Canaan means a possession, and he would continue the bloodline of Jesus Christ. 10. And Enos lived after he begot Canaan, 815 years, and begot sons and daughters. We do not read about any of Enos' other children. They would become corrupted by the supernatural beings that rebel against God. 11. All the days of Enos were 905 years, and he died. His flesh body died, and his spirit returned to the Lord. 12. And Canaan lived 70 years and begot Mahalalel. Mahalalel means praise of God. And he would continue the bloodline to Jesus Christ. 13. And Canaan lived after he begot Mahalalel. 840 years and begot sons and daughters. We do not read about his other children. They would become corrupted. 14. And all the days of Canaan were 910 years and he died. 15. Mahalalel lived 60 and 5 years and begot Jared. Jared means descent. And he would continue the bloodline. 16. And Mahalalel lived after he begot Jared 830 years and begot sons and daughters. We do not read about his other children. They would become corrupted. 17. And all the days of Mahalalel were 890 and 5 years, and he died. And his spirit returned to the Lord. 18. And Jared lived in hundred sixty and two years, and begot Enoch. Enoch means teaching or initiation, and he would continue the bloodline. 19. And Jared lived after he begot Enoch eight hundred years, and begot sons and daughters. We do not read about his other children. They would become corrupt. 20. And all the days of Jared were 960 and two years, and he died, and his spirit returned to the Lord. 21. And Enoch lived 60 and five years, and begot Methuselah. Methuselah means, when he is dead, it shall be sent. And Methuselah would continue the bloodline to Jesus Christ. 22. And Enoch walked with God after he begot Methuselah three hundred years and begot sons and daughters. Enoch physically and literally walked with God himself as Adam had done previously in the supernatural dimension. 23. And all the days of Enoch were three hundred sixty and five years. This is how many days Enoch spent on this physical world. 24. And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. Enoch did not experience death of the flesh. God changed Enoch instantly back into his supernatural body. God will do the same thing to every human being alive and walking around when he returns to this earth to rule and reign for 1,000 years. All human beings on the planet will be changed in the blink of an eye, the good, the bad, and the ugly. All of us must be able to live a thousand years. 25. And Methuselah lived in 180 and seven years and begot Lamech. Lamech means powerful, and he was powerful because of God's strength, not that of his own. He would continue the bloodline to Jesus Christ. 26. And Methuselah lived after he begot Lamech 780 and two years, and begot sons and daughters. We do not read about his other children. They would become corrupt by the supernatural beings that rebel against God. 27. And all the days of Methuselah were 960 and nine years, and he died and his spirit returned to the Lord. 28. And Lamech lived in hundred eighty and two years, 
and begot a son. Lamech was the father of a very specific and very important male child. 29. And he called his name Noah, saying, This same shall comfort us concerning our work and toil of our hands, because of the ground which the Lord hath cursed. Noah means rest or comfort, and Noah would give them rest from the works and acts of the grievous trouble and evil deeds going on around them. The Lord had cursed the earth over what Satan did, and again he has cursed the earth when other supernatural beings did the same. 30. And Lamech lived after he begot Noah 590 and 5 years, and begot sons and daughters. We do not read about his other children. They would become corrupt. 31. And all the days of Lamech were 770 and 7 years and he died. Seven, seven, seven. His flesh body died and his spirit returned to the Lord. 32. And Noah was 500 years old and Noah begot Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Noah would continue the bloodline of Jesus Christ. From these three sons of Noah, the world would be plunged into chaos and confusion and war, with Shem's genealogy going to the life giver of the world, Jesus Christ, Ham's genealogy being filled with troublemakers and giant people who were enemies of God and God's people. This has nothing to do with any particular race of human being on this planet. Ham's bloodline became mixed with supernatural beings. The war is between human beings and those supernatural beings.